Yes, I mean, the influence clearly for me is, is the north of England, which all my family came from the north of England. And um, my sister and I are the only southerners, so there was, there was a very, very pronounced difference uh, in our sound to the sound of their origin. But my parents had changed their sound as well in order to come south. My father was a broadcaster, I mentioned he was a journalist, but he started out in BBC broadcasting as a radio journalist. And so he consciously, as a working class northern man, very, very consciously code switched and worked at it and went to Oxford and that was the, the making of him in the sense of eradicating, if you like, the northernness at that time. It, came, it, was, a, it was an identity crisis really for him all his life in a lot of ways. My mother just kind of slipped into it more naturally so she had a southern sound but with with a, a key vowel that we, my sister and I kept for a long time the look uh, look vowel um, and butter but there were there were a few times it was just we held on to a few key vowels right the way through our adolescence in in South London now South London was a complex environment because to sound posh where we lived um, there was a lot of you know just street sounds street white sound which was kind of trying not to be conscious of being middle class and there were lots of different signals going on about trying to sort of conceal class uh, in order to survive in the school system because I didn't go to a, a special privileged school I went to the comprehensive the ordinary state school uh, so northern was strange to be middle class was something you had to smooth over so accent was doing a lot of concealing a lot of um, yeah, a lot of switching and I'm not really sure of how it should sound. A lot of insecurity. Then we moved to the States. So uh, we flipped from 11 year olds, you know, growing in the, up in the South to living in the middle of the Midwest. And there, phenomenally, in 1968, we were exceptional. I mean, in a way that it's not the same now. People used to stop us in the street and say, just, oh, would you speak for us? Would you do, you know, and my sister and I were like little performing animals. And, and it's, you, you can't imagine that it's like that now. But it wouldn't be like that now because we're so globalized, but we were quite, you know, different. And so I grew up with the sense of a uh, huge thing happening. At school, I was just trying to, trying to belong. And at home, they were always laughing because they'd hear me code switch and it was, my sister would tease me mercilessly. Friends would come on the phone, I'd be, hi there, you know, and just trying to fit in. So that's my background. Great.